Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the third uh, video on uh, inverse Laplace transform from Mr. Irwin's book. And here we will be dealing with multiple poll uh, questions. And primarily we will be focusing on learning assessments 13.11, 13.12 and 13.13. Now before we start the actual problem solving, let us build some uh, basic concepts. If uh, the function is given in this form, that is one of the uh, denominator factor has a power r, then we break it down, we write k11 uh, and then uh, at the denominator we write the function with simple power 1 and then the other term would be k12 with power 2 and similarly k13 with power 3 etc. So this way we write and the value of k12 or k13 etc. can be found from this formula where r is the highest power this given and uh, j is the terms that is if you are talking of this one then j is one first term here k12 is the second term so j2 here you can put that value and you can uh, uh, calculate the values but we will not go into the details of this uh, we will just tell you some simple way uh, with this example let us say this is the example that we have so we have r is equal to 3 and uh, so uh, the way we will write is that first we will write k11 and then s plus 1 with power 1. Then we will write k12 then s plus 1 with power 2 and finally k13 with s plus 1 with power 3. So this is for s plus 1 terms, 3 terms because power is 3 and then for this we will give another name k2 or k3 etc not k1 so k2 and divided by s plus 5 so these are the four terms and in that we got to find the values now we start from the highest power so this is the highest power 3 so first of all we will find k13 and for k13 we just multiply by the denominator uh, the fs is multiplied by the denominator and whatever is the condition we find from here and then uh, putting in we f can calculate the value of k13 and then we go down so k12 we have to differentiate so one down we differentiate by one power same thing so d by ds of this and same conditions the only thing you have to keep in mind that as you go down you have to increase the differentiation so the first differentiation here and then if we go for k11 then we'll have these two different second differentiations of the same thing in addition we have to plug in this value now this is coming into play r is 3 and we are on the uh, first term so j is 1 so 3 minus 1 is 2 so 1 over 2 factorial that is 1 over 2 factorial and if there were more terms then we will give 1 over 3 factorial etc but generally it is up to 3 so we will just uh, restrict to uh, this calculation here ok now let us the first one is simple one we write it in a proper fraction form so you can see s plus 1 has 2 powers so we will have only 2 factors so k11 with s plus 1 single power and k12 with s plus 1 uh, power 2 and as I mentioned we start from the highest power so k12 first we will find k12 is s1 square that is multiplied by the denominator fs from here we get the condition s plus 1 is equal to 0 that means s is equal to minus 1 and now put in the value of fs this is the value of fs so the, these two terms will cancel so s is remaining and now we plug in the value of the condition s minus 1 so the answer is minus 1 now k11 we know that we have to differentiate as we are going down so this we differentiate d by ds of the same value and the same condition so uh, 
and when we can uh, up put in the value of fs then these two got cancelled so it will be only s here so d by ds of d by ds is equal to 1 and so our fs will be now plugging in the value of k11 and k12 so this is the final value now we'll take the inverse so inverse of this term and inverse of this take help of the table that we already are familiar and therefore our answer in the first case will be e minus t u t and in this case because of this it will be t e raised to the power minus t u t we take u t common so this is the final answer and the answer given in the book is same let's go to the problem now here we have s square term and we have s plus one so that means there will be two four terms for this and one for this so total three terms so we write k11 s power 1 plus k12 s power 2 so this takes care of s and then for s plus 1 we write k2 s plus 1 and again we first of all solve for this and then this and then k2 so k12 multiply by the denominator s square fs plug in the value of fs simplify this is the term we put s is equal to 0 the condition from here s is equal to 0 and so we will get 2 over 1 is equal to 2 and now k11 we have to take the differential so we differentiate this term so when we multiply s square by uh, this term so we know this is the term that we get s2 over s1 so we have to take the differential of this term and for this you know we can use the uh, differentiation of the fraction method so the uh, denominator differential of the numerator minus numerator differential of the denominator and denominator square and now uh, we find out differential of s plus 2 we know is 1 ds is 1 similarly here ds is 1 so we get s plus 1 here and from here s minus 2 divided by s plus 1 square plugging in the value of 0 so this 0 this 0 this 0 so the answer is 1 minus 2 1 square or it is equal to minus 1 so this is the value of k11 and now we need to find k2 so we were here so k2 we multiply by this s1 fs condition s plus 1 is equal to 0 that means s is equal to minus 1 so uh, we have now s2 over s square condition s is equal to 1 so the final answer we get is 1 putting minus 1 here and minus 1 square okay so plugging in all the three unknowns this is the uh, final fs and now we take the inverse laplace of each term and again with the help of this table we write the value 1 over s is ut 1 over s square is t and 1 over s plus a or 1 is e minus uh, t so minus ut 2 t u t and e minus t u t take u t common so this is the final answer and this is what is given in the book and finally we have little more complicated question now you can see we have three powers of s so that means three terms for s and then one term term for s plus five so we write it k11 single power k12 power 2 k13 s power 3 and k2 divided by s plus 5 and again we start from here k13 first of all we find the highest value so k13 is s3 denominator multiplied by fs so denominator multiplied by fs and this will be 100 divided by s plus 5 condition we getting from here is s is equal to 0 
so s is equal to 0 that means k113 is at 20. Now we are going down so there will be a differentiation here so k12 is d by ds of this value and this we have already got from here is 100 divided by s plus 5 so differential of that and uh, we can write it as s plus 5 power minus 1 then it will be easier for us to take the differential so it will be minus 1 and s plus 5 power minus 2 multiplied by 100 so this is the answer you can also do it by the fraction method if you are interested anyway and now put in the value of s is equal to 0 the answer is minus 4 now the third one further differential so that means d square ds square and also that factor will come into play now so it is 1 over 2 factorial and s square fs so this is actually d by ds of d by ds so from here we had got already d by ds was this was the value so we'll just plug in that value and take differential so that will be d square ds square so differential of this is you know the minus 2 will come out uh, with multiplying this and there will be an increase in minus uh, so minus power so that means half minus 2 multiplied by 100 so plus 200 s plus 5 and power is minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 putting the value of s is equal to 0 this comes to be 0.8 so we have got all the 3 for the s term now we need to find k2 term ok so we multiply by the denominator of k2 and it will become 100 over s power 3 the uh, condition now is s plus 5 is equal to 0 that means s is equal to minus 5 so plugging in that value you get the answer to be 0 0.08 ok so the final form now will be like this we have plugged in all the values k1 k2 k3s so this is the final shape of fs and now we'll take the inverse Laplace of each term and we'll use uh, this formula uh, 1 over s is ut 1 over s square is t 1 over s cube now this is you have to uh, pay attention how we can use this formula when s is equal to 3 that means here we can write s is equal to 2 plus 1 that means n is 2 so come on the left side therefore we'll have in the time domain t power 2 and divided by factorial of 2 so we'll plug in that let's see so this was easy now look here 20 comes out and 1 over s q is t square divided by 2 as we found out from here and then this one is EAT this formula and now we take UT common so this is the term left this is our answer and it is the same as per the book so I hope uh, this gives you an understanding as to how to solve this type of a, a problem thank you